we're going to have a look at Preble Company. And we've got some materials and labor, but what we're going to do in this one is the variable overhead. Variable overhead works a little bit differently than materials and labor because you can hire labor and you can go buy materials. You can't really buy variable overhead or hire variable overhead. Variable overhead is a mix of different things that do move with activity, such as cleaning up, changing blades, changing paint colors, um, replacing parts as you use it, or just labor being in the building. So now you have to have the lights on and the fans on and the water's running and so forth. So there are things that cause overhead to move activity, so it's variable. But the question is, what is that activity that we're going to use to apply that variable overhead to work a process? And we'll use that same activity, direct labor hours. It could be pounds of material. It could be machine hours. Um, they'll have to tell you in the problem, what is it that they use as the marker for how much variable overhead is moving around with activity? Here they tell us variable overhead, the standard or the recipe for variable overhead is we think we'll spend about $300, 300, three, <laughs> seven dollars an hour and three hours per finished good unit in variable overhead costs. The total that we'll spend on all those various things that need to be enabled and active and moving when assembly and materials are being um, compiled into a finished good. So let's work on those variances. We have two variances. We have the rate or spending variance, and then we have the efficiency variance. So let's start. So there really isn't a price per variable overhead because you can't go get a variable overhead. So usually this is just given to us in total, and they do here. If they give it to you, the actual per hour was $6.10 into 70, just total it out because it doesn't make any sense to have it per each. Now, the standard price in the variable overhead land is the rate they give you. So they expect the variable overhead cost to be about $7 for each hour that's worked. Okay, so that's $7. And what is the actual quantity? Well, we're applying it based on direct labor hours. So we need the quantity of direct labor hours because for each of those direct labor hours that's worked, we expect to spend $7 in variable overhead. So let's see here, 63,000 looks like labor hours. What is the standard price or the standard rate? Still seven. But here we would put the standard quantity. What is the standard quantity? Three hours for each unit. How many units did they make? It doesn't matter about the planning. It matters about what they actually produced, 26.6 times that three hours. So now we're going to do the math. Let's put these up here. Have them all on the same line. Okay, 7 times 63. And 7 times 26.6 times 3. All right, so the difference is the absolute value. Here we were expecting to spend 558,600 and we actually expect variable overhead given the number of direct labor hours worked to be 441. So that's going to be favorable. What about over here? Again, absolute value between the two. And then the question is, if we expected, given this many labor hours, and it's variable based on labor hours, so given that 
for the number of labor hours we expected to spend seven dollars on each of those 441 we actually spent 510 so that one's unfavorable all right hope that helps